Once I put Viagra in my eyes to make me look hard. <laughs> Hello again everybody and welcome back. Right, so today we're going to be talking about free VPNs and the actual dangers of using them that users may not be aware of. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so what I will ask is can you share this video because I do think a lot of people are unaware of the stuff I'm going to cover in it. So do me a favour and quickly just press that share button down there. Thank you very much. Right then, so many of you may already know about the dangers of using a free VPN, but there are a lot of different aspects of it that do kind of shit me up. <laughs> shit me up being like, worry me. So that's what we're going to cover in this video. And also in the links in the description down below will be links to VPNs that I actually recommend and know are safe. But before you start, this isn't a sales pitch. We'll talk about that more at the end of the video though. Right, so first of all, if, you, if you're kind of new to it, what, are, what is a free VPN or what's a VPN in general? It basically masks your IP address so your internet service provider can't see what sites you're accessing on your Android device, your PC and things like that. As long as you're connected to a VPN, your internet service provider doesn't really know what's going on. And a lot of people also use them purely to get past blocks. So if a provider's blocking links and streams from a certain site, a VPN will bypass this. Right, so next you've got the cost of servers. So for a VPN service to run, it's obviously not free for them. So I have been doing my own work on this and I have been talking to people who do actually run VPN services and the stuff I found out, I didn't know personally. And one thing that stood out the most is if you're not being sold a product, you are the product, which will make sense in this video. Right, so data is now more valuable than oil. And that's quite valuable shit right there. <laughs> but bandwidth is one of the things the free VPN services need to have. So you think about that when there's millions or hundreds of thousands of people using these free VPNs, where are they getting the money from to actually run these servers? Right, so one of the things I didn't know is when you connect to a free VPN, they can actually access your DNS. So if you're visiting websites, say you want to visit google.com, they can actually direct you to their version of google.com. And then any websites you actually visit, they can kind of manipulate the ads into their own adverts so they get a revenue from that. But one of the scary things is, is they can direct you to different places where they can actually see your login details for accounts and things. And that's one of the things that did shit me up. And I'm not saying all free VPNs will do this. But what I'm trying to say is if it's free, there's got to be a way of them making money to cover these costs. So another way of them making money is selling your data. So saying selling your data doesn't necessarily have to be your details. It can be your IP. So your IP address could be used by people that need to access a residential IP address. And this way you're not actually connected to a VPN server. They will be connected to a residential one. So it helps them bypass buying on fake cards and fraud and things like that. Like shit I didn't know myself as well. They can also put malware and adware onto your device. And I do see people saying if you're only using a VPN to access such as the US Netflix, if you're only using it for like geolock content or region lock content, you're safe. Well, you're not, because you're still connecting to the same VPN server as you would be if you were using it for torrenting. So you're still exposing yourself the same way. But the most scary thing for me in that is the DNS port. How they can direct you to their server and they can make web pages look exactly the same so that you could visit Google and it could look exactly the same. Then you sign into it and boom, they've got your username and password. I don't personally know how it works. It's quite smart how they do it, but it is also shady. And then you've also got peer-to-peer -peer VPNs as well. Hola VPN is one. Um, I think Urban VPN is peer-to-peer -peer as well. And how this works, if you connect to a peer-to-peer -peer VPN server, then you will link to somebody else's IP address. But also the people using the service at the same time will be connecting to your IP address as well. So that means whatever Bob down the road is looking at is actually going through your IP address. So your internet service provider can see what Bob up the road is doing through your address. And then what it looks like is if you buy a premium VPN service that is peer-to-peer, -peer, it's like if you're premium, your IP address doesn't get used by other people. 
you were just jumping onto people's IP addresses that are using the free version. Which to me defeats the object of having a VPN in the first place. But yeah, I wanted to do this video just to make people aware of it. Because like I say, I've only done a little bit of homework on it and I didn't know half the scary stuff that can happen just from using a VPN. So I went on to ask people as well, what's the difference between a premium VPN and a free VPN? And what they were saying, a lot of the free VPNs is over 200 on Google Play Store, but the majority of those are Chinese owned, so owned by Chinese residents. And another thing as well is their government can ask for any details they want from anything that's happening in that country. And there's kind of no privacy laws and things like that inside that country from what I hear and read. But using a premium VPN, you'll find that they're based in places where there's actually laws enforced and things like that. I'm not very good at talking about stuff, I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> but you're also paying for the service, so that's covering the cost of what you're going to be using it for. So what they're basically saying is they don't need to do that kind of stuff. They don't keep logs, so they don't know what you they don't know your stuff details and things. You can look into them more. All I'm gonna say is if you're getting something for free, but yet it costs them to run it. It's not actually free. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave all the free VPNs on my website. So let's crack on .org. So they're still able for you to download, install and use as you, as you wish. But I just purely wanted to make subscribers aware of this. Because I do think there will be a hell of a lot of people that aren't aware of it. But what I will say is I do leave links in the description down below to the premium VPNs which I recommend and I do trust. They are affiliated links so I do get a little bit of commission. It's a way of supporting the channel. But you can also go online and just search them direct and get them from there. I'm not trying to push stuff onto you. But do comment down below your thoughts on this. Did you know about it already? Is this stuff I haven't mentioned that is actually people should know? And also, do you think, well, I don't care. <laughs> there are going to be people that don't care. But I feel with as many subscribers as I have got, I need to make people aware of things like this. So like I say, if you are interested in a VPN, check them out down below. I'd personally say to you, stay away from free VPNs. Or if you are using a certain VPN, do a lot of homework on it. Make sure you read the small print and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news this weekend. But it's put my mind at ease knowing I've told you. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll see you soon. Ta-da!